Welcome Taurus and Gemini Cusp to your end of the month reading for May. I hope you're all doing great out there. Fix this real fast here. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you, Taurus Gemini. That Venus is retrograded right now, so it could be that people are your person is coming towards you, um, even people just in general could be t coming towards you who you never thought would come towards you before, um, or they could be actually taking a stance back and you can't understand why are they taking a stance back away from me. And it's just because of that Venus retrograde. Same with pri uh, prosperities, you could be having a lot of prosperity coming in um, and expected um, due to that and material. Um, things like you might want material things, but you can't understand exactly why do I feel the need to redo this bedroom or this living room? You know, I think it needs an upgrade, <clears throat> and that's just because of Venus likes to make everything beautiful, <clears throat> new, fresh, and alive. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy, what you're thinking and feeling for the end of May is the moon. So you get the moon coming out. Let's see exactly why. Clarify on the moon for me, please. This clarifying card is going to clarify on the moon and the whole overall general reading. It is a big card. And there it is. Moon again. So you have two moons coming out. Um, it's clarifying the shadow side. You are in your shadow side at this time. Thinking, delegating, weighing options of yourself. Um, it just pretty much reminds you um, that nothing in life is really at a standstill. You can continue to keep moving because the world is fluxing around you. Um, everything changes with the moon over here. Um, and it's also calling you to take the action that's necessary at this time so you can go inside yourself and see the pros and cons, right? You have the dark side and the light side. So, and um, it's also, also a time now to look and see what, you're, what you may be fearing or what you may be hoping for. You may have um, secret desires over here with the moon that you're thinking of as well. Okay, so trying to bring things to the illumination so we're, that way they're not so hidden, right? Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see why they're here for the present, near past, and the near future. Okay. Yep, there's the hope. So going inside, you can see that there's hope. But you're not really wanting to take the sacrifice that you need to have. Um, there's a disconnect, a disconnect, maybe even discontent and boredom going on that you know about. And you're thinking about whether or not you should take a tower from this moment. In the near past, you had emotional withdrawal, no accelerated motion. And that's interesting because the shadow is telling you to go ahead and take that motion that's needed where you did not take it before because you were suffering in silence with the emotional withdrawal and you didn't feel it, you, that you had the material spiritual prosperity moving towards you. In the near future, you have the solar plexus chakra, which is the I can. I can have this. I can do this. And it says I can have harmony. I can have peace and harmony. I can have fertility. I can have those prosperities that I didn't have in the past um, with passions ignited. Okay. So, let's just clarify on what this is going on here for you. Okay, in the past you had emotional <clears throat> withdrawal, not feeling your nine of pinnacles, not feeling like you were um, prosperous enough, not feeling achieved. Um, you might have had some ex excessive spending going on around you um, 
or maybe you were hit with some unexplained bills, expenses, uh, maybe things were starting to break on you and you had to keep spending your money, right? So it was excessive money and it was just cause, causing this um, excessive withdrawal over here as well, um, emotional excessive withdrawal. Um, and nothing just seemed to be going your way at that time. It was like maybe every time you turned around, now the refrigerator doesn't work. The light bulbs went out in the, you know, in the kitchen. Um, the dryer's acting weird. Now I need to get it fixed. It's like every time you turn around, something is breaking. Um, it's kind of like when the crap hits the fan, it goes in threes, right? <clears throat> so it kind of feels that way. It's like every time you turn around, you were spending money on things to be fixed or bills coming in. Maybe you had doctor bills coming in all at the same time. So, and yeah, it put a delay in your pocket of your finances. And, but you don't have to worry about that because it's also showing that like you were wanting a break from this scenario, but it was not put into motion. You were just waiting, like, where is my break? Can you give me a break? I don't, you know, why is this all happening to me? And it was giving you five of pentacles. It was putting you out in the cold. It was making you feel that emotional withdrawal. It was making you suffer in silence because maybe you were spending all your saved money. You're really clenching the belt, uh, you know, trying to close up your wallet. But it was like, every time you turn around, you're in your wallet to do something, right? So, and this is just not giving you any material or uh, prosperity or financial prosperity at all. If anything, it's giving me pain and suffering again with the three of swords, that pain um, sitting over there. And yeah, and it just won't stop. It just keeps coming towards me. And it just feels like it's one thing after another. And I just keep realizing it's one thing after another. Um, and it's just like pretty much I've had enough. Um, so you're kind of going into your shadow side over here and I see exactly what you're doing. You're trying to plan. You're trying to take the action. Um, like I said, the things that weren't illuminated before is might be that, you know, now is the time to really start clinching on and saving that money and praying and hoping that better days are coming. <clears throat> Cause yeah, you didn't feel like there was any perfect timing, but now the perfect timing is starting to appear. You're noticing that things are getting better within your finances and that you are taking that that step forward. Um, you have the two of cups over here and within finances, it's like, you know, well, I'm finding the collaboration. I'm going inside to see exactly how I can fix this. Um, you know, I'm having the understanding of how to gain ground on the finances. Um, maybe even have a partner or a friend who is helping you. Or family member who is helping you also with the finances <clears throat> yeah because it was such a battle and you didn't have the resources at the time to really self-sacrifice you did not want to take the self self-sacrifice you just continued to just keep saving money every penny that you have right you're just trying so hard but it is really a battle and this is where the dis discontent is coming from dissatisfaction discontent and you're like Okay, I'm going to probably have to bail out of this situation if I don't start making some money. Okay, because it literally could cause, with the tower over here, it could be bankruptcy. You might be feeling like, oh my gosh, you're telling yourself, oh my gosh, if this keeps going this way, I'm going to, I'm going to be bankrupt. So you're looking for that new, <clears throat> that new uh, path to better finances. You're waiting and looking out, waiting for the work to come, the money to come solutions to come and really delegating on this and really waiting to see what the better options are and um, you know because you're faced with tough decisions and you're trying your hardest to take a financial uh, leap of faith over here and um, yeah you're really waiting for the tides to time uh, to turn over here and you have some discernment of course but you're really um, you're really waiting for that lucky break with the Wheel of Fortune. So <clears throat> where you felt like you have no break over here, you're waiting for the lucky break uh, right now in the, in the present. Um, it says, I 
can have um, harmony and peace and that prosperity with passions ignited and be completely happy. I mean, with the Hierophant upside down, the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, the Victory upside down, the Fool. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, and it's like... You're really waiting for the peace and the harmony to come within your finances and you're really um, coming to the understanding that better cycles are coming your way. You're just waiting very patiently for them um, because you know that you can't always uh, count on charity. You can't always count on handouts from your friends. You can't always, you know, have your partner help you, right? So you're thinking about your shortcomings of your finances and you know you can't rely on others to bail you out from this situation. So you're telling yourself, I can help myself with the Knight of, of Cups coming in. You're going to start offering yourself and waiting for that offer of financial help um, you, because you're very focused and seeing the goals that are going to come. And I think now that the... Um, Certain states are opening up and a lot of you can get back to work. You're starting to see the fruitation of, yeah, now I can actually cross the barrier um, and get back to work and know that money will start flowing in and I don't have to feel like this is just a total waste um, and total bad luck, bad luck of cycles. Um, because you have the king over here as well. And it's telling you, you know, you've dealt with the money problems, but you've seen um, what's going on. You have the per perception to see this and the integrity and the strength to carry on to fix this in the near future over here. So whatever you felt was lost and that you lost the battle to, um, you are given a new chance, a second chance. Everything is coming back to you with the fool. Okay, so you no longer have to feel like... You know, like, um, like you, there is no second chance, pretty much. Okay, this is kind of like getting on back on your lucky side and getting that that chance to go back to work and to get your your finances back to where they're supposed to be. Um, with the Queen of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, yeah, you definitely can see it now with the passions ignited. Everything is now starting to go in your favor because you have the Queen of Cups here and she's very favorable and she had that hunch with the Fool and here's the hunch again is the Queen that your financial gain will start building. Okay, and it's going to start building but you're keeping your options of how you're going to spend money um, with the Two of Pentacles. You're weighing your options, what you should pay, what you shouldn't pay, how to save the money, how to, you know, what to use. So it's because it's vital, you know, and you're balancing, pretty much balancing out your money and balancing out your bank account and your finances. So that way, you know, you can actually have kind of a reconciliation with your own bank account, right, with your own money. So <clears throat> that way you don't have to take, you know, a 100% bailout. Okay, what you thought you were going to have to do over here because you were seeing the loss coming. Um, but now you know, okay, I can balance this out. I can get this this um, bank account back to where it's supposed to be. So that's what's going on. Nice money here going on. So, yeah, angels say there will be a peaceful resolution coming your way. Um, yeah, where you felt the hurt and and the financial loss, um, everything's going to start balancing itself out, so no need to worry. <clears throat> Just remain positive as possible so that you can law and attract this money to come back to you as qu not only just as quick as possible, but um, as stable as possible, I'm hearing as well, because the stability is where the balance is going to be. So you're going to a law and attract that you have stable work. Right. That way it's always seeming like it's coming in. That way you have a nice flow of money coming. Okay. So let's see what we have here. For the, what animal you have.
It says, be true to yourself, be the rat. Be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. So just remember to be the rat and um, be true to yourself. Okay. And be forbearing and patient. So just continue to keep working where you're working. And uh, be patient, though, because everything has a time, as it shows over here, with the temperance. Okay, so, and let's see what law and attraction card you have so that you can keep your law and attraction going to keep this nice flow of balance going. Okay, so let's shuffle these real fast, see what you have. My thought manifestations enjoy a buffer in time. So it says, in attraction-based universe, there is no such thing as no. Your attention to it says yes. <laughs> in the physical reality, things do manifest instantly. Or, I'm sorry, do not manifest instantly. For there is a wonderful buffer of time that gives you the opportunity to redirect your attention more towards what you do want to experience. So as you keep telling yourself, I'm going to do this and you're telling yourself, I'm going to do that. Just make sure that you're keeping up with that positive energy. And as it says, remain positive. So that way you can keep um, manifesting what you need to manifest. So that way it'll actually get that chariot moving faster. When you start thinking negative, then it makes the chariot stop. And then it has to do it all over again. Because there is that buffer in time where you can sit here and manifest all week long and start getting that going. But then as soon as you get during the weekend, let's say that you get negative, it's actually going to stop that chariot. So just keep that chariot going nice and strong. So that way the universe understands this is what you want. This is your idea. This is what I'm manifesting. And this is what I'm going to have. Okay. And there's no reason I can't have it. No reason at all. Everybody can have it. Okay. So that was your reading for you. And I will see you in June. And peace and love to each and every one of you. And if you like this, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye, friends.